Well, hi folks, it's, it's about 10 days, about a week to 10 days before I'm going to be sort of sowing everything in the in the garden. So I've just been getting my soil knocked up now that the weather's dried out for once. So I've been just going through it with a riddle and a, not a riddle, sorry, a three prong cultivator. And I've managed to get it to a decent sort of tilth, as they call it, sort of fineish. You don't want to get it too fine because if, it, if you get it really fine and it rains, then you end up with a, like a crust over it when you sow your seeds. And, it can stop your seeds from uh, germinating, so like I say, I've just been going through it and finally got it down to a, a decent condition. So now it's just a matter of uh, fertilising it. I like to fertilise stuff about about a week to ten days before I, I plant things because then it gives it a chance to just break down a little bit and if you see germinates, it's not going to eat a big, big lump of fresh fertiliser, which could possibly do it a bit of damage, so we'll get on and do a bit of uh, fertilising. Fertiliser I, like, I like to use is uh, blood fish and bone because it's a sort of it's a natural fertiliser and I found it quite slow release. And I'm going to put this on about four ounces to every square yard and find that one of these heat things is about four ounces. So nothing too technical, just sort of sprinkle it roughly across. We've got it roughly measured out in yard width. So like I say, just just sprinkle it on, on the top and I'll rip I'll, uh, I'll rake it in a bit later. Like I say, I like to fertilise about a week to ten days beforehand and then rake it into the top sort of three or four inches. So it gives it a little bit of a chance to break down before you sow stuff. So then once you you know your, your little seedlings are emerging, they're not emerging into a big fresh dollop of uh, fertiliser which can do a bit harm. Anyway, I've got this ladder over here, because I've got quite heavy soil clay soil and I don't want to stand on my soil because that will ruin all the hard work I've done and try to get it into a decent sort of condition. It's a bit of a balancing act but there you go. So I'm just going to get it actually too fancy with it. Just, just going to ruffle it. Four ounces of this bucket and bone on. It's where you are. And that's it. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to find it. Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. So using the, uh, this is the main tool that I use to break the soil up anywhere. Just like a three, three prong hand cultivator that goes in about four inches. I'm just going to lightly just go through the soil again. I don't want to go too deep and drag any big lumps up again. Go through it all. So that should mix it down to about around about three inches. Take these out now. So that's about it really, and then once it's we'll just do this little half. So that should get it down a good sort of three inches. Finally, I'll just use my rake. I'll just use the back of the rake just to level it off. I don't think I've ever used the end of the rake. Just to level it off a bit. And then about 10 days, 7 to 10 days, hopefully everything will start growing. I'll be sowing all my seeds with carrots and peas and everything, and it all growing. Basically that's it, that's how I fertilise my veg beds. A bit of blue fish and bone worked in about the first three or four inches. And then just rake flat and that's it, ready for sowing in about a week's time.